How long were they mowing me? So, Big Jook's killer's vehicle has too many lookalikes, they're saying. Hey, I guess they did learn something from the whole Young Dolph thing. It's your boy, D-Snow from the go. I'm back in the house for show. Yeah, I didn't bring the logo, but I'm right outside the band, though. Shout out to the subscribers, the followers. Thank y'all, man. We running it up, and it's up and forever stuck. But, yo, man, looks like them guys might have learned something from the whole Young Dolph thing. Word out of Memphis, what we're hearing, what we're seeing. That's saying that the vehicle, it's been hard to figure out who did it. They don't have any, they don't have anybody in custody. They don't have any leads. They haven't found the vehicle. They said they seen it's so many lookalikes. And I said that in the, in the last video I made about Jook when we talked about the whole thing. Because at first I was kind of like, dang, they talking about this same car is connected to another hit. But after that, you ain't seen nothing else about this car. And now the police MPD is actually coming out saying that it's too many lookalikes, that they can't actually find somebody connected to this. I mean, the thing that's crazy to me, what I'm hearing out of people out there in Memphis, they're saying the city is on fire right now. You can't let your kids be outside. You got to be careful at night. You just never know. You don't never want to get mistaken for the wrong guy. So everybody's on, you know, on tilt. They, they worry. They're trying to be careful, be safe. But the thing I'm also hearing is there's nobody out there screaming justice for Big Jook. Find Big Jook's killers. You know, we need to figure this out the same way they did for Dolph. With Dolph, oh, man, the whole city, the, the mayor, the news, the news anchors, the pastors, everybody was, man, we got to figure this out. They took Dolph. You know, they made Dolph land. You know, they painted the whole mirror. You know what I'm saying? Mirror, they had, man, it was crazy. Makita Cookies was was crazy. You, you couldn't go past that place without seeing flowers and can, candles. And I mean, where's the love for Jook? Why they not doing the same thing for Jook? It's weird. I mean, but I, like I told y'all, no matter how much you hate him, Big Jook was love. So in his city, you know what I'm saying? There's people that still mourning him. There's people that's sad about the whole situation. But, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, maybe these dudes actually going to get away with it, allegedly. Maybe they figured out how to do it right. You know, maybe they slid and got rid of that car and kept it moving. The one thing that makes niggas go down in situations like this is running their mouth. And I ain't going to ever, ever act like I condone the killing or seeing people die. That's not what I'm about. Man, I'm surprised. I'm happy that I'm, I'm alive. I've survived so many things. I'll get into that the more and more I grow because I don't like talking about mine until we get enough people in here. Then we're going to talk about the things I've seen and I've been through. Right now, I just report on what's going on out there like the rest of these guys because it's crazy, man. We live in a wild, wild, dangerous world. But um, yeah, so they're saying there's too many lookalikes out there. They haven't been able to put anything to Juke yet. Um, they did have the funeral for Big Juke. I'm hearing it was a closed casket, allegedly. You know, private for the family. It wasn't public like people were saying it was going to be. They didn't throw it all the way out there. So that was all a lot of hearsay. But that's what we live in now. We live in a life full of hearsay, rumors, and talk. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, R.I.P. the Big Jug. R.I.P. the Young Dog. R.I.P. to everybody that's lost their life in this whole CMG um, PRE feud. You know what I mean? And it ain't over. We all know. We're just waiting on the next shoe to drop. That's just how it goes in these type of situations. Because like I said, and even about the rack, the thing about places like the rack, if y'all know what the rack is, that's Chicago, um, Memphis, New York, LA, once they start, it's hard to make it stop. Because, hey, sometimes you might kill the wrong person. Some people, you they can't take losing. And they ain't going to never, until they die, they go to jail, they going to spin, spin, spin until they dizzy, you know? But yeah, man. Y'all be safe out there, Memphis. Keep y'all heads up. I'm watching. I'm praying for y'all, man, because I know this type of life ain't worth it. You got kids. You want them to be able to walk to school, go to the park. You want a regular life for your family. You know what I'm saying? So, ho, hey, hopefully things get better for y'all out there. Hey, only time to tell. It's your boy, D-Snow, and I'm gone.